How's it going everyone? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome back to Was the Grind Worth It? And of course we are talking about the AMX 13105. So we have it here in the garage. We are going to use CVS, Optics and VStab as I do believe that this tank is going to be... Uh, well it, it fits my playstyle a little bit more than the others. Um, obviously we have APCR as the standard rounds with a thousand shell velocity which isn't very good. Um, but we do also have heat rounds for when we do meet the more interesting tanks let's say however they do only have 280 millimeters of pen so against like a type 5 heavy and stuff is gonna be a problem uh, at least frontally uh, but let's go into some games as you can see i do have a premium account now i bought 30 days might as well just buy 30 days each month um, and then pick and choose what happens um, but we are going to put on some boosters as well and if you had noticed in the top left you'll see that i have a new uh badge i guess um which means that i've completed the other referral program so we have a patreon the unskinned version the t26e5 so we have lots and lots of different stuff uh ready to go so as soon as we i mean it's going to be a long time until we actually play this tank because first we, we will need to mark this thing then we need to mark this thing and then this yeah, it's going to take a while. Anyway, that's not about this. This is about was the grind worth it? Right, so we are getting Manaheim line. Uh, it is uh, tier 10 only. And there is an EBR on the enemy team as well. Which is going to be a, a bit of an issue. I won't lie to you. Um, let's see if we can get into our bush without getting spotted. Um, the answer to that is uh, no. And I wasn't going to risk seeing if I was spotted or not at that point either, so... Okay. Don't spot anyone there. Do we spot anyone here? No. Okay, you know what? We're going to go all the way back around and see how we can actually enter this game because the EBI is going to be a bit of an issue on this map for us. Um, we also don't have a 100% crew. So, yeah, there's that. <sighs> but at least we have a premium account now, so it's not going to take too long, hopefully, to get this crew to 100%. Should only take a few games. Especially with uh, the crew XP bonus as well that I've got on. These are actually pushing quite aggressively, to be honest. Hmm... Uh... See whether or not any of these want to try and push up a little bit too far. Very nice. Some nice free damage there. Not too long of a reload. The entry clip is a little bit long on this tank, but it's manageable. See if we can shoot this Pajetto in a second, if he's still up. He is. Okay, well we've managed to bounce one just off the stupid hull armor of the Pajetto. EBRs uh, hits us as well. And artillery tries to shoot us. Yes, very good. But at least we're up to 2k damage now, so... At least there's that. I'm not going to go into the same bush as the EBR, because I don't want to... Uh, make him get spotted. Or for him to get blind shot, I should say. Don't have any shots there. TVP in the middle though. Mm. Should really switch to uh, heat at this situation, but realistically, there's not too much difference between the pen. If I can get one more clip in, I think we'll be really, really good. Well, we're going to load heat. I don't think that we're even going to be able to get it out, but there we go. 
I still have 15 seconds left, so yeah. Maybe we can dodge this shell. Thank you. Mm. Tried to get it. Oh well. Yeah, 1 to 15. Welcome to World of Tanks nowadays. So we come third on damage in a light tank. Uh, yes, we lose 20k because welcome to tier 10. Uh, if you're not using a credit booster, you are just losing credits. Uh, even if you don't fire premium rounds. And uh, yeah. I mean, why would you put yourself at a disadvantage to have a fire extinguisher? It's just no point. But at least we earn some uh, some nice bonus to the crew. I mean, yeah, sure, we don't earn a lot. But combine that with the extra, should get a little bit more. Um, so, yeah. I also like where the uh, the clan logo is on this. <laughs> they should put it on both sides. Anyway, let's go into another game. Okay, we get Pilsen now. Great. Let's see what we can do. I also have uh, three HE shells. Just one clip. Because it's kind of worth it to have. You don't get too much uh, shell choice in this tank. Um, like the maximum number of shells is not that great. So you can't really afford to take anything more than one clip of HE. Um, oh, do you know what? We're just going to do it. I thought someone would destroy it, but they are not, so... Okay, then. One forty spots us. By the way, the only reason why I haven't gone down this side is just because it's suicide. Why is an E5 going there? Right. Let's see if we can actually make it across. Oh. That's a 907. Oh, good. Excuse me? Uh, Wargaming? How does that... Not pen? I know I get shot by the Leo again. Please, just give me some more completely stupid RNG. Uh, he's on reload. Repair, even. I know. I'm probably going to get shot by Leo. Well, we should have. We should be able to take one extra shell, but. Unfortunately, Wargaming decided, nope, just going to have a random bounce on the manticore. I mean, I thought the show in midair was pretty good as well, you know, but I guess no. One point six K damage done. Not really anything to be super excited about so far. Uh, that's not been destroyed, so I stay unspotted as I pass this, so that's fine. This will be, however, where I get spotted. Hmm. I mean, at least a Fosh died in the middle, so... There's that.
<sighs> Still an FV. Let's see if we can go for the middle. Maybe we can get through the middle. Maybe we get spotted. And I will knock this down. Worth a shot. He's gonna spot us anyway. He didn't even spot us. Okay. Bit weird. Found the FV. <laughs> Do you reckon I can shoot this? the answer to that. Well, I mean, at least it's a win. Okay. It's a win. Whatever. We can, we can times free it so we get more uh, crew XP as well. And we can apply it. Look how much XP that is. That's like seven episodes of the grind free to play. Uh, at least our crew is getting there. 95%, 97%, that's good. Um, and we can also get field mods, obviously, on this tank. Um, there are quite a few that we can get uh, a choice of. Um, some of them are a bit weird, because, like for this, for example, you can either go for camo or you can go for view range. And it's like, I don't really know which one I would pick, because they're kind of a lose-lose situation, so... Probably don't pick that at all, but that's not going to be until a long time now. Um, so far, we have got 1.9k damage, 2.1k assistance. It's not too bad. It's about what I'd be expecting for this tank. Uh, roughly about 4k combined. Uh, yeah. You know, the gun's good. Um, I don't have intuition, which is kind of sad. Um, debating switching this. I mean, I do have some credits still. I can't really do that, though, because then he'll... Wait, does he go up? Wait, what? Hang on. So if I pay, he goes to 100. I'm going to do this just for science. Wait, so brothers in arms, I want intuition. I don't care about anything else. Camo will be the next one. Do I need to get intuition on this? I do. Okay. So wait, let's test it on this now, right? 97%. What? <laughs> no, hang on. <laughs> what? I think I go for camo. And then we'll go for a throw driving. Now is it 100%? Have I just broken the system? I mean, sure, I'm paying, but I might get intuition. Mm, but camo's good. I want intuition more than that. I want to be able to quickly switch it out. Uh, then we go for recon, and then once this is trained, we'll then go for camo. So they're 100% crew now. Wargaming, how does this work? So I can just... As long as they have skills, I can just buy it again. Anyway, next game. Well, we're on Mountain Pass. So, uh, yeah. And as you can see, my reload time has definitely gone down. So I don't understand how that works. I reset them to 87%, but in reality, it's going up to 100%. Hmm. Okay. Kill the manticore. Oh, they, they actually shot. Well. 
I mean, kind of obvious. Dun, dun, dun. Doesn't reverse very fast. Okay, well, we take two shots and that's not worth it. Ah, well, I don't really know what to do at the moment. It's pretty fun. Maybe I'll just go and sit in like one of these bushes over here or something. Yeah. Let's see. Shall I just sit here? Because there's nothing else that I can do on this map now. It's pretty good. Pretty good map design, I must uh, I must say. It's uh, very, very well done for light tanks. Six seconds to uh, change clip, though. It's pretty nice. You want to get any more lucky, Manticore? Gonna reload. Reload and run away. Um, yes, that's my fault for you going in the middle of the open. I don't even know how this bush works. Okay, apparently really well. <laughs> I mean, and I can spot over that side, but... Not that anyone's really there at the moment. See if this manticore wants to peek again. He probably will, because what else is he going to do? Apart from run this way. I mean, can't sit here though, because of the Leo. I don't think we can get shot by the manticore. So close. Tempted to kill this Leo, but at the same time, the problem is that if I rush down and kill the Leo, the Manticore then shoots me, or the 907 is around here, I'm just gonna die. So, what's the point? And we can sit like this though, so that if they come up from this angle, we should be able to shoot them. Oh, and by the way, in case you were wondering, um, there won't be credit grinds Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because... What? I don't even know what just happened there, uh, because it would just get stale. I don't want to do it either. Come on, SDRV. Peek up here. Wonderful. Well done. That is exactly what I wanted you to do. Pretty clever STRV player. He he read my mind like a book. Um, so yeah, on tomorrow, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe a 140 video. Sorry, I just banged the mic. Maybe a 140 video. Uh, just playing around with that since some people wanted that. And then maybe even a Leo 1 video. Uh, VZ55, 277, I don't know. Like... There's plenty of choices. Um, but I'll just make some of the more casual kind of videos where I just play some tanks that I want to play. Um, or that I enjoy playing, at least, on my main account. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do that. It should be pretty decent.
bird. It's pretty pretty good that we managed to kill that and help the mouse out. FV, I can't really do anything about at the moment. STRV gonna peek? No. <sighs> Da, 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 da. Do you reckon the manticore is still there? I don't know, but I'm going to go into this bush here and see if the STRV is around here still. Manticore is not up there. Okay, the Leo 1 is a one shot. So I'm going to sit here and see if he tries to push this way. Which he might have false uh, sense of security. Because he knows that people are going to be around here. So he, think, he might think that this is fine to push into. Um, in that case then, hopefully we can do that. If he kills the mouse. Not too worried about people that are over this side where the manticore is at the moment. I just want to focus on this Leo and the STRV if he push this way. I don't even know where the STRV has gone. Also, there's a Cran that has just been unspotted and he's just... Not appeared anywhere. I still think that Leo's coming here. I mean, he, he could go back, but what's the point? There's no point me spotting in the middle at the moment. We have a 50B and an SDB there. They're going to spot that anyway. I mean, realistically, what else am I going to do with 500 health? Go through the middle and just die? When I still don't know where the Manticore is? Or the uh, STRV? Okay. Well. The Manticore isn't there. And that other Leo... Pushed all the way up. Get into this position here. Manticore's over there. The Kran's probably gone back to help. Because I don't see why the Kran wouldn't. I think the Leo may come back down here. I'm just bad at the game. We're done for. Uh, I should have killed him. Now we lose. Oh well, that's my fault. Well, that was my fault that we lost. Honestly. Like I shot a stupid angle on a Leo. When he should be dead. He should be dead there, and then I can run away. I mean, maybe I'd die after I run, but... That was just pathetic aiming. I didn't even realise that was a dead that there was a dead tank there. I thought I could just shoot him again. Well... There you go. We're going to play one more game, uh, just to round it off to four games, and uh, then we'll discuss whether or not this grind was worth it. Uh... I'm going to ban this map because uh, I have two map bans now. So we are definitely going to ban this. And probably Cliff. Airfield is awful, but I think Cliff is honestly worse at this point. At least from Airfield, you have two sides which are both pretty bad. Uh, whereas on Cliff, you just have one side which is... Absolutely bad. And that's it. This map is just one of the worst maps in the game. And of course we get penned by HE with RT. Because, you know, balanced. Maybe the uh, T100 is going to peek up here. I don't know. But we now have to play this game like a tank destroyer. Because the other light tank has gone over the other side. So there is nothing for me to do now. It's pretty cool. Cool map design, isn't it?
Nice RNG, man. Nice RNG. I'll play one more, but I'm banning this map. Cliff was added to the exclusion from random battles. Glacier was added to the exclusion from random battles. Good. It is an absolutely shit map. And now, I don't normally swear. Well, at least I try to keep it like PG-13. But to describe that map, it really is. There is no other word. That is how that map is. We'll play one more game. All right, Paris. It's not too bad, to be fair. Um, it isn't the end of the world getting Paris as a light tank, but it is bad. We'll have to see. I'm going to go here. We're going to go and boot. Now I get spotted because EBRs. Lovely. Lovely. Very good. 26 damage on an uh, E50M. Okay. I mean, we spotted eight tanks there. Eight. I get 26 damage for it. It's pretty cool. Can't spot anyone down there. Now we assess our options and see what we can actually do. Our EBR, however, has decided that he is an artillery player and um, wants to go over there. I really wish this was good APCR. I'm not going to lie. I really do wish that it was a lot faster APCR than what we have. I'm sorry, but like... Come on. Doesn't even go anywhere close to where I was aiming it. I'm gonna cross this. Don't see anyone. Let's go this way. You know what? I can spot this STL of it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. Critical hit, by the way. No, we're safe. For now. Get a decent spotting, actually, out of that. That's not too bad. We have spotted 11 of the 15 tanks. Pray for this manticore if he peeks. Or the Bruschetta. Oh, no. This is going to be a slaughter. What? Where did your shell go? Ugh. Uh, that's not really what I wanted to see. Can I ramp up? No. Stupid, I'm not gonna lie. But that should be a pen. At least we're gonna have some more damage out of this, hopefully. If we can get another clip, then that's good. What the hell is going on here? Alright, he just fired. Okay. Well, that sucks for us. For goodness sake, Max. 
What? See you later. Bye, RNG. Well, that was fun. Don't you just love RNG in this game? It's really good. You know, you aim, you aim one spot and it just goes nowhere close. I don't know. I don't know what I'm meant to do. It's really stupid. It's just, what am I meant to do in that scenario where I cannot get any anything else done because pure RNG. Like, yeah, the first shot on the E50M, fine. That was a miss. The second shell should have killed him. And the second sh the last shell on the VZ should have killed him. <sighs> and I need to get to the third one before I can get to this. Before I can choose, like, a secondary loadout. Like, CVS is just so important on maps where you've got bushes. I can't afford to not take it. I can't aff I can't drop that and I can't drop that. Like I need I need the stabilization. The tank's good. The class though, not so much. I mean we spotted 11 of the tanks. My team had all the information. They still lose. And EBRs are in the game. Especially once you get to tier 10. Like in the lower tiers, it's fine. Like in the lower tiers, all of these are completely fine. Once you get the top guns and everything is unlocked, the Batch at 12T isn't a bad tank. I got bored of it purely because I was playing it so much. Like we had over a hundred games in this tank. Um, but like EBRs are useless until you get to tier 10 because they're so bad that you just have to play for damage or you play super, super aggressively and just pray that you don't get shot. Whereas the EBR 105, it can go and do passive scouting and it'll get to the bush before any other tank. It can go and do active scouting. The wheels on it, along with all the other EBRs, are just impenetrable. So you get shot in them, you don't care. Um, yeah. But this is the best light tank at tier 10. And there's nothing else, like even, even if you set it up for like DPM, it's still better than everything else. I mean, T100 LT, fine, might be better, that like pure firepower. I don't know, man, like it's just, it's too good. In comparison to 13105, the tank's fine, but it's the tanks that it gets matched up against it are the problem. And that you still get two light tanks per team or even four light tanks per team and if you get four light tanks per team there's nothing you can do because you're then fighting against your other your well the same people in your team just to get damage and spotting so do i think it's worth it no i don't think it's worth it to grind light tanks nowadays i really don't i honestly don't think that it is worth you spending your time and effort especially free to play, to grind up a, t a tank tech tree line that demands so much of your team and so much team play for you to be able to have a good game. I don't think that it's worth playing light tanks in 2022. It wasn't worth playing it in 2021 and it's definitely not worth it now. Like, I think it's stupid and they really need to redo the matchmaker for it to actually make sense. You match up an EBR against an EBR, and then the other light tank, if there is one, which it should be, it should be one EBR and then one light tank if you're going to do it like that, or just one EBR as your light tank. It should be similar in the way that it's a tract versus a tract and a wield versus a wield. And then you don't allow any more than two, because once it gets past two light tanks per team, it's just, you're just fighting against yourself. You're just fighting against your own team to try and get done, damage done. So I don't think it's worth it. And not to mention that you rely on your team to actually shoot what you spot to actually have a good game. I don't see the point. Especially when tanks like... Let's let's take this for example. The Batch at 25T, I would much rather have this tank than a 13105. More damage. I mean, it even gets better view range. Like, for goodness sake. The Batchat has 400 meters view range, 10 more than the 13105. What? Doesn't have that much worse off camo when it's stationary? Much better gun? Uh, why would you play the 13105? Because you're then just creating yourself to have that like tank 
against light tank kind of thing. And then you're you're demanding so much of your team. I mean, actually, this gun isn't even the top gun, but you get what I mean. I mean, with the top gun, it's just ridiculous how much better it is. 330 heat as well on the premium. It's night and day, the difference. It really is. We add in the T100LT. Again, it has 390 view range. However, the T100LT has better camo, a much better gun, like leaps and bounds better gun, um, and it has some armor. Better mobility as well. I don't know. Like, if you're going to get a tracked light tank, T100LT. I don't think it's worth it to get a 13105. I don't. Usually, I would say that a tier 10 is always worth going and grinding to get. But in the form of a light tank, you're grinding all of this to just be worse off than everyone else. I mean, I realize that you can't actually see the stats, but you can now, you know, take a look at them now. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't see the point. Really. Like the difference between just even the bat chat. The bat chat's worth grinding. 30105, no. And the bat chat can also put CVS on it. It can put everything that, you know, you can have as a scouting uh, kind of slot. So this is now a maxed out 13105, as you can see here, if we go into the configure. Uh, for the field mods, we haven't selected anything up here because it's kind of a lose-lose situation, so there's no point. Um, but you could choose extra camo if you want to, but then your view range goes down. Or you could choose more view range, but then your camo goes down. So, yeah, bit weird. Um, I don't think that's worth taking anything on. But then the bat chat as well, fully maxed out. Uh, we haven't chosen, haven't chosen anything for the last one because, again, it's like a lose-lose situation. You could get more view range, uh, to which point you're then well over 500 meters, but... Your top speed goes down and so does your engine power. So I don't think that's really worth it. And it's not worth doing that. So I don't think it's worth picking one at all. Exactly the same equipment as well, as you probably saw. Why would you choose a 13105? Seriously, why? It, the Batcha even gets better camo now than the 13105 when it's stationary. Like, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like, whatever. I've said enough. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Hopefully you enjoyed this grind. And uh, this week's going to be full of just uh, random games, uh, random tanks as well. So hopefully tomorrow I get the 140 video out uh, where we play a few games in that. And then on Wednesday there will be the credit grind. Now we have obviously a premium account. So that's going to give us lots of juicy uh, XP and credits, which would be nice. And uh, yeah. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it doesn't help me out greatly. Let me know what you think about the current state of light tanks in the game. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.